What's good? We back with the boxing clinic. It's your boy CJ Goodfellow. We back on that boxing grind. Look like uh, you know, Joseph Parker, promoter, has uh unveiled the offer that Joshua has offered Team Parker. And um hey Hearn, man. You know, he he had like Anthony Joshua is uh the reincarnation of Jesus or something like that. Because they offered Joseph Parker eighty twenty split. And as a champion, I'm signing with Joseph Parker. How you view him? He's still a champion. He deserves more than an 80-20 split. And, um, you know, now see what Eddie Hearn's angle is now. He's going to use Anthony Joshua right now, his popularity, to lowball a lot of these guys. And I like Joseph Parker's stance on it, that he ain't going for the BS. You know, he want a, a fair offer and an 80-20 to another champion. That's disrespectful, man. A lot of y'all want to understand it from the business side. Um, and I don't blame Joseph Parker, even though Joseph Parker are walking lit, you know, that, a.k.a. he easy pickings. Um, he still got more respect for himself than an 80-20 split. Um, this ain't Carlos Takam or Brotsworth Pueb. This is a dude that's a that's a champion. You know, he earned his belt, however you like it or not. And um seems like Eddie Hearn is, wants to lowball these guys to keep the bums flowing for Anthony Joshua. Because over in the U.K., y'all guys going to eat up whoever you fight. You know, they can dig up. Um, you know, a corpse, and he can fight the corpse. As long as the corpse can move, y'all be happy with him fighting that corpse. You know, they just, you know, want to see him fighting. Eddie Hearn is using that popularity to his advantage. Um, you know, Water was talking today, how they stub, snub fighting over in Vegas. Um, and then Eddie Hearn said they don't want to fight in a small, it's hard to smart fight in a small arena in America when, um, you're doing big, uh, numbers over here and doing, filling up big stadiums and arenas over in the UK. I'm not understanding that though, but, the pay-per-view and the money that Anthony Joshua can make in America, it, it UK, it doesn't compare to it. You know, if Anthony Joshua becomes a pay-per-view star, which is a long shot, and I'm pretty sure Eddie Hearn understands that. If he becomes a pay-per-view champion in America, that $20, $25, $30 pay-per-view, that turns into $60, $70, $80, $90, $100 for pay-per-view. And it's, you know, that's quadrupling, quintupling his, his income that's coming in. But they know Anthony Joshua will not cut it versus certain guys. Um... That's when to keep those European guys rolling in, low ball the champions like Joseph Parker, low ball, you know, guys like Deontay Wilder, and they want to get a guy that's easy pickings that can sell a lot of tickets. And we know who we're talking about. We're talking about Tyson Fury that got approved to get a fight date. And if Tyson Fury was going to really come back and be in shape, if you follow my channel, I had a lot of respect for Tyson Fury. Follow me on social media. That's one of my favorite heavyweights. And when he was active, um, you know, like Deontay Wilder, so he ain't coming back. He knew one day that he, if he was truly innocent, he knew one day that this this would all go away. He would resume fighting. You think he dropped one pound to get ready for his April date? So he got November, December, uh, January, February, March. He got about six months to get in shape. And he had about 12 months of some change to get in shape by now. He hasn't gotten in shape yet. I don't see him getting in shape, uh, you know, in the next six months. You know, he might get in shape to fight one of those bums. And then probably, you know, another six months, I still don't see him in a year dropping the weight down, being back to his old self and being ready to fight Anthony Joshua. But her and Anthony Joshua doesn't care. They don't care. They want to take Tyson Fury as soon as possible because they want money. They know Anthony Joshua is a paper champion, not a real champion, you know. Um, can't take him on the chin. He's not a real boxer. He's growing and learning to become a new boxer, but I've seen a stunt in his growth. I don't see him really blowing past his phase that he in now. And that's not a bad thing because, you know, there's no good heavyweights out there. I'm arguing with a guy on the page today, debating with him. Um, he said, which heavyweight in America is powerful? I said, none of these heavyweights are, are any good, man. All these guys are C- minus and below. And if you're lucky, you might got a C-plus if you got a clean guy like, uh, you know, Luis Ortiz or Alexander Povetkin. You might. You know, but other, other than that, everybody's improving. And um, it's guys with potential like Jarrell B. Baby Miller, you know, if you drop the weight. Guys like Joshua with a lot of potential to grow and keep being better. Joseph Parker got some potential. But at the end of the day, an 80-20 split from Eddie Hearn to another champion. That's a slap in the face. They say they want that fight real bad to get three belts on Wilder and uh, really try to get a 90-10 split probably versus Wilder by having three belts and then discourage him from not pursuing a fight. But Joseph Parker not going for it. Uh, a reasonable split would probably be um, a 75-25, uh, you know, 70-30 split, you know, I think that would be reasonable. Or, you know, or maybe a 65-40, uh, 
35 split, I mean. But I think a 70-30 split should do it for Joseph Parker to come over there. That might be about 10, 12, 13, 14 million dollars, depending on you know how he would sell. But uh it's a disrespectful offer. Eddie Hearns being disrespectful and using it to his advantage is business. We gone.